Hey guys, how you doing? Got another video here today. It's just a small video. I'm um, just focusing on my fire kit for my buggy out bag. Um, now the reason I've chosen to have a fire kit is because um, in a um, shift situation or just a situation where you have to bug out, for example, um, you're going to want a means to start fire because if you can start fire then you can boil water and so on and so forth. So fire is actually a very very important um, thing to make and thing to have in your bug out bag and that everyone should have. So I've got my fire kit in this um, this kind of like clip clip out box thing to, um, to keep everything in there <clears throat> water tight so it doesn't get wet in the event of my bag getting wet. Um, so we're going to go straight into this. Now right at the top we can see that we've got some alcohol prep pads. Now these are 75% ethyl alcohol. So um, when you tear these open, you can actually set these on fire and they'll burn for like a good 30 seconds um, which would be enough time for you to get some stuff on top of it and create a fire if you had to. Um, also to sanitise cuts um, being the main um, kind of you know, use for them. Um, next is these fire tablets. So these are the type of fire tablets you'd put in a fire. I would break this up and then use this just after I've lit a fire if I don't have any sticks around. Just because these, the burn time on these is actually um, pretty good. I think it's about a couple of minutes each one. So that will you know, keep the flame going until you get bigger sticks on or whatever. Next one is a trusty ferrocerium rod. You, you, yeah, you just have to have one. Um, countless times you can use it. They're very reliable, they're waterproof. Um, that's about it. The next one I've got um, two lights, Bic lighters. Um, you need to have lighters. Lighters are easy to use. They don't take any time to start a fire. You just literally hold it there, boom, catch a fire. And I've got two, because um, one is none and two is one. Isn't that rule? Next is um, just some things of cotton. Um, so this stuff is quite easy to set on fire. Literally set it on fire with that. Or mixture of that and that or whatever you want to do but it's just you know, it's just something I had and threw it in there because it was um, combustible um, and I've got another ferroserum rod um, I actually quite like this one this one I've used quite a lot as you can see um, yeah it's it's really nice it throws big sparks and that's what you're gonna want when you get in there you scrape off a little bit off and then you go bam bam and it sets it all on fire gotta have um, yeah gotta have ferroserum rods and this one's got a whistle in it too yeah it's got a whistle so I'm not sure you can see that, but in a pinch you can use that to, I don't know, signal someone if you had to. Um, oh, I see that you can see I've used some of the stuff in here already. It's just some rubbish. Uh, pencil sharpeners, actually people underestimate what you can do with these. So you, you get sticks, and what you do is you put um, you put sticks in the end. I've got a bit of cotton in there just to keep it, so nothing happens. Um, yeah, you put sticks in the end, and then you just... Um, rotate it and rotate it and it creates shavings and then you can use those shavings as a fine material to start fire. Um, I saw that somewhere, I can't remember where I saw it but um, yeah so I thought it was pretty useful. Now the next one, a lot of people might find it funny but I don't, just, they're just you know whatever, um, is tampons. Now tampons despite being their main use for um, you know females but you can actually use these if you, um, I might just do it now, you can twist it to break it and you can see when you twist it and break it more and grab the string and absolutely destroy it you can break these open you see all that cotton I'm not sure if you can see it if it's going to focus or not but all this cotton here and you just keep breaking it out and breaking it out and you know I've got this massive amount of cotton here and this is perfect like you can guarantee you use one of these with this and within 10 seconds you'll get a fire going, no problem. Um, so yeah, tampons are very, very compact when you first get them. Um, obviously get these ones, don't get the ones with the applicator because it's extra plastic, you don't want them. Um, just plain ones and you can break them open, use them in a pinch to start fire. They're really, really great, very small, compact and you get a lot of material. You could potentially just use a section of this or whatever and save them for the rest. Um, so yeah, that's that one there. And then lucky last, I've just got some tissues in here. Um, yeah, tissues just to light fire. Put the tissue underneath whatever you're lighting, or scrunch it up in a ball, or put one of the um, alcohol pads in the tissue, scrunch it up, let it on fire, so then it catches properly. 
and that's how you can um, yeah that's how you can kind of use this I guess if you had to wipe your face you could do that too but like I said this is a fire kit not a hygiene kit so yeah hopefully you guys found this video interesting if there's anything in here that you think I um, would benefit uh, please let me know in the comments section below um, it's getting really busy um, back at work so I might not be able to make as many videos as I usually do but I'm gonna try my best other than that um, Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps out with the um, the algorithms, and um, yeah, it's just real cool, real cool to see the subscriptions going up. And like the video if you have anything to say about it. Obviously, comment. And other than that, stay safe, guys. Make sure you have a fire kit in your bug out bag. And see you next time.